I'm producing a theater show um, of an award-winning play called Sun Sisters. And um, that play is the winner of the East West Players Play East West Players Pacific Century Playwriting Award. I would describe this as the Joy Love Club of the 21st century with with LGBT focus. I see this as being one of those films that really will become an iconic film for this next generation. You know what I mean? Where they watch it and they go, it's their Joy Love Club. It's it's their it's how they understand their relationships with their mother and it gives them insight as to that relationship. And then also it speaks to another new category that hasn't that's has been underserved, which is the LGBT community. For me, I don't feel like I have necessarily more power because then it for me it makes me feel like I'm in a position that I'm here to help them. I'm not here to help them. I don't ever feel like it's you know, because I hear a lot of times you know, it's the white man's burden or whatever, and they're here to help, you know, the people who are less than or whatever. And I don't believe that at all. Like, for me, it's like it's not about that. Because I don't believe that it, at all that it's like, oh, I'm here to help them. It's more like, they're my friends. Well, they're my friends, and these are stories that need to be told. Again, that goes back to the whole, these are underrepresented stories that need to be told. And there are people who want to and need to hear them, you know, and or, you know, need to hear them. And so, for me, it's more... One, it pisses me off. Homophobia pisses me off, like, to no end. Because it's ridiculous, because it's an ism. Any kind of ism pisses me off. Racism, classism, sexism, homophobia, those are all isms, right? And any kind of mistreatment or discrimination or prejudice towards somebody because of some difference pisses the bleep out of me, right? And for me, telling the stories that my of my friends, right, is an opportunity for me to do to do what I'm here to do in, in a way that impacts the world in a good way. So Eat With Me, um, we're actually going to go into production in the fall. So we're really, really close. And that one is, um, I don't know if you know Sharon Omi. So Sharon Omi, um, Ken Narasaki, Teddy Chen Culver. Okay, so those three are our... <coughs> our um, premier Asian American actors that are in that film and that one I'm, I'm really excited about because it's a fun film it's a foodie movie so let me say it's a foodie gay Asian American film but really at the heart of it it's really about a mother and a son and their relationship and how they try to bridge the gap between each other um, Choices was for the interpretation um, film competition oh, great. through yeah. UFM yeah. through my family UFM my family and um, I felt that this was an opportunity to highlight the woman's voice and take perspective that, you know, this, I, I think, and this was evident in a lot of stuff that you saw, was that it didn't really have a very, a lot of the projects that came out um, didn't so much, it wasn't a woman's story, you know what I mean? Like this was so, Choices was such a deeply rooted woman's story. It was about the woman's journey, her emotional journey, with her body and her choice to have an abortion and the you know, effects of that. Um, and I thought it was time. You know, I know that I know a lot of women who have gone through this journey. Um, a lot of women you don't expect. With Late Autumn, they really, um, they really pushed to hire Asian American actors. So, yeah, so. yeah they, they really did a concerted effort to do that. And they really did. I mean, pretty much other than Tong Wei and... Um, and Young Bin, everybody else in that cast is from the U.S. In fact, most of them are here in L.A. Right, so right, Tong Wei right. is Chinese, and she has her Chinese family. And so they hired, and then Young Bin is Korean, so they speak in English to each other. Um, and then they had to cast all of Tong Wei's crazy family, because she has this crazy family in Seattle, right? Because I'm part of the crazy family. <laughs> and so it, because the writer was also the director, they had the flexibility to move around the script and the characters. So what happened was they did the casting, they basically picked, they brought us in at, for the producer's call back with like all the, with different combinations of people in groups. And he basically said, I like her, I like him, I like her. And then he just wrote those roles in for us. Because, yeah, because originally I went in to read for the sister, right? And, um, and he needed someone older to play the sister, which he ended up finding. Um, so he wrote me in as the trophy wife of her uncle who originally was an aunt that he changed to an uncle. So he just basically said, I like these people. They're going to work well. They're quirky enough or whatever. They have the chemistry. We're going to create this family around.